Trying to mess around, see if anybody's going to go. Trying to figure out this light. Oh, that's annoying. Who's playing around out here in my shop? In my shit, I mean. Uh, see if anybody's gonna get on. Uh, I'm hoping a couple people do. I'm gonna open up my uh, giveaway from uh, Jared Outdoors that I won. And gotta figure a way. <sighs> There we go. All right, that kind of looks like it's working. Somebody's in here. Who's in here? Oh, me. <laughs> I'm the only one in here. So, just going to kind of hang out and see if anybody gets on. Hello, Joran. How are you, Bubba? Where in the world... Is that uh, German or Austrian or um, uh, like Scandinavian for your name? Okay, Scandinavian, cool. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. I've never, I'm on my laptop. I've never done a live stream on my laptop. So... Cool, cool, cool. Now, okay, cool. All right. Hey, uh, when you get a chance, can you message me your uh, your address? Because since you're the first one to actually get on the live stream, uh, I'm going to send you something. I have no idea how much, when it'll get to you since you're in Sweden. Well, hold on. Okay, since you're in Europe. Can you get, you know, stuff in the mail, like knives and stuff like that? Because I know Great Britain is all stupid right now, so. <laughs> I do, too. But can you, can you get them in, uh, through the mail? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Email, uh, message me your uh, your your address through the the YouTube um, thing, link thing under the about page, and then uh, I will send you out a knife because you're the first one to get on here. Let's see if anybody else is going to get on here. If not, then I'm just going to open this up. Uh, like I said, with the title, this is from uh, Garrett Outdoors from the uh, giveaway that I won with him. Uh, last week. So, yeah, YouTube Messenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Email message. Same difference. <laughs> same difference to me. So, but, uh, but yeah. All right. Well, I don't, think, I don't know if anyone else is going to get on, but I'm going to open this up. So, like I said, I got this from uh, Garrett Outdoors. If you haven't seen it, been to his channel. Definitely go look him up. Uh, no idea what I got. Here's a note. Hey, man. Congrats on winning my giveaway. Thank you for your support. If you want to do a video on the contents, go ahead. Well, actually, I'm not. I am. If not, that's cool, too. I'll see you on YouTube. P.S. Look inside the Expedition pouch. Okay. So, let's see what I got. 
First off, Ozark Trail flashlight and headlamp can never, ever have uh, enough lights. I love my lights. Uh, I did a video to Virginia H. She talked about how to keep your kids occupied. And we had it where the storm, the power went out, and we did a uh, headlamp party. So love my flashlights. Love my flashlights. Uh, this is one of those hammer, emergency hammers and belt cutters for uh, for when you get uh, stuck in your car. You can use these to smash the windshield. I mean, not the windshield, the windows, and has the seat belt cutter right there. So that's pretty awesome. Another flashlight. This, this dude is hooking me up. Nice mag light flashlight, purple. I'll probably end up giving my wife that one. I know you can't really tell with this month. Freaking camera sucks on this laptop. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else we got in here? Oh, plug in emergency flashlight from the Red Cross. Those are always kind of nice. For when the power goes out, these will automatically uh, turn on. SOL rescue mirror, it's a signal. These are nice. I suck at using them, but I try, I'm trying to get better at it. Okay, here's another one. Uh, fire, bin, fire beaner, a survival EDC carabiner. Oh, that's freaking film. Uh, let me see if I can put this down just a little bit. Oh, that sucks. Too much light. All right, well, this is a... Oh, crap. Hope you can kind of see. It's a carabiner that's got a uh, striker on it, like a flint wheel. So it's actually really, really cool. I'm gonna have to mess with this computer. Uh, the Insta Fire Starters. I've seen a bunch of people that have uh, been doing videos on these. Uh, basically, if you ever heard of Maya Dust, that's what this stuff is uh, similar to. A zombie rescue emblem. Zombie outbreak response team. That's kind of cool. I'll have to throw that on my truck. It's kind of cool. SOL emergency blade. These things are great to have, great to keep around just in case. Throw them in a little bag in your car and stuff like that. Always nice to have. Gosh, this guy gave me a lot of stuff. Uh, Ozark uh, Trails knife. Always nice. You can never have enough knives. You can never have enough flashlights. You can never have enough fire to start you. Oh, Letterman uh, style CS. These are cool because they are uh, scissors and it has a little knife and uh, a file that you can use as a flathead screwdriver. Uh, another headlamp, Bushnell. Loving this, loving this. This is awesome sauce. Uh, an outdoor EDC. Looks like this tube. This is kind of nice because these are just, this is an empty tube. And, uh, you can put whatever out. I'd probably put Tinder in the same. And yes, the Leathermans are super cool. I, I love uh, having those. A Cricket Snailer. Uh, it is a bottle opener, keychain with a carabiner hookup. So that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Because the bottle opener is up there at the, the top, I guess. Or down the bottom. Not really sure. I actually have to play around with that. Okay. Uh, Zippo lighter. Purina. Kit, uh, kitten chow. Always nice to have. Always nice. What in the world is this thing? What in the world is this? Okay.
That's a uh, kind of interesting. I have no idea what it, what it is in the long run. Uh, I guess it's meant for like it could be like a wallet uh, because it's got a little strap back here in the back. I guess you know you can put money, uh, your IDs or whatever, and then you have all your stuff: screwdriver, uh, Phillips, a file, and a good can opener. So it's kind of kind of interesting. I have to play around with that one. And then a little Max Vision pouch, which he uh, he said to open up. And let's see. Oh, snap. Silver dollar. Uh, you can't see it for crap. Uh, actually, this is a, a silver half dollar. Silver half dollar. That That's that's awesome. You know, everything else, forget everything else, just this alone is pretty cool. And yes, I really like these Max Expeditions. Uh, I've got a, I've had a couple over the years. I had some when I was in the military. You can just put so much stuff, and they can organize them such a neat way that uh, you know it, it, they're awesome. And they just make things so much nicer for you to be able to sort your gear and everything like that. I hate people sometimes on my motorcycles. So I'm out in, my, out in my shed, so that's why you get all these people. This is freaking awesome. Uh, Garrett Outdoors, you, you, you way outdid yourself. Uh, th this is beyond compare. Uh, I will probably end up doing several pay it forwards, uh, to other people just to, uh, thank, you know, thank him and to, you know, spread, spread the love for, for lack of a, for lack of a better phrase and stuff like that. So, uh, Jordan, I guess you're the only one that's getting on, so uh, appreciate you coming on. Don't forget to send me that, uh, send me your address, and I'll get that sent out to you. And uh, see y'all here later. I have some problem to add you. On YouTube Messenger. Uh, just, uh, shoot, I don't even know how to do it. Let me look on mine real fast. I don't know why I did that. I didn't mean to do that. Go away. H. Wow. Uh, and moderator. Hey, I need you as a moderator. I don't know what the <laughs> wow. You can put a user in time. That's just flipping funny. That is flipping funny. <laughs> All right, uh, can you get onto it? Hey, Prepper Ford, what's up, my man? Yeah, I'm just doing the live stream here for uh, my uh, giveaway that I got from uh, Garrett Outdoors. Jordan and me are trying to figure out how you can add me to his. Uh... Yeah, no, you can't. You can't do them off the phone. You have to wait till you get to the uh, to desktop. That's the one thing you can't do. You can't send messages through uh, through the phone app. I don't know why that's stupid because a lot of people just use their phones to get on YouTube, but it's just something to do. Okay, what just happened? Oh, all right, there we go. Cool. Uh, I was in. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I went over it, but this is the live stream, so I'm gonna show it all to show it to you again. If you, you want me to show you everything, 
because I got a mound of stuff. This, this dude hooked me up with uh, with for the giveaway. Okay, cool. Uh, well, first thing, and I, I'm sorry my camera on here sucks. He sent me a silver half dollar. That that right there is awesome. Uh, you know, it, it can't beat it. And then knives galore. Uh, well, a uh, Ozark Trail knife, little Leatherman uh, CS. God. Dang, I'm gonna have to work on this camera stuff. Okay, thanks, Jordan. And then a uh, bunch of flashlights. Bunch of flashlights. Uh, dude really hooked me up. Uh, his giveaway was uh, was awesome. So, but so what? What exciting things are going on over there in uh, in Sweden? There, Jorn. Any, I know we see on the news here in the U.S. Sometimes it gets kind of crappy over there. And yes, there, there's a lot of a uh, lot of blades uh, in that stuff that uh, he he sent me. I can't believe he sent this much stuff. It's it's flipping awesome. Uh, you're in basically, uh, here, in, here in the U.S. that I've seen at least, uh, lots of, uh, your crime, your crime rates have been increasing and, um, so I have several riots off and on for the last couple of years, uh, that, uh, your, uh, immigration policies as a country have been kind of lax and, uh, you have been get in uh, quite a few people and that it has uh, has not been helping much and uh, prep for it yeah silver silver is always one of those things that it's nice to have I have uh, a few pieces here and there uh, nothing real exciting I always try to uh, look through you know any of the quarters half dollars things like that that I get. Uh, just to just to see if any of them are, uh, you know, pre 1963, uh, and have any of the uh, have any silver in it, and that sucks over there, Yorin. You know, you just got to keep, you know, here the, the here in the U.S. we have, you know, we definitely have our fair share of problems, but with our with our law enforcement that we have, we're able to keep the major stuff in check. Uh, you always have, you know, the oddball stuff, you know, the extreme stuff. But luckily, if you get, with the exception of when they do uh, sports riots, sports riots are just stupid. But you always have a good amount of uh, police presence and things like that that can normally nip all that stuff right in the butt uh, before it gets crazy. Uh yeah, and uh, prep for it. I know the silver prices have been going down again. So, you know, it's always a, uh, when, the, when the markets are low, you know, you should buy. Blood on the, was it blood on the field? Blood in the grass, blood in, blood in the rivers, streets, I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, buy property. So, you know, as, as you can get it, as you can find it, uh, you know, you... Uh, you grab it, and uh, you know that's one of the nice things here in, here in the U.S. They're trying to take it away, but it's in, instilled in our Constitution, the Second Amendment. I carry my uh, firearm with me 99% of the places I go. The only time I don't is when I'm legally not allowed to. Uh, that's crazy. That is, you can't carry them for self-defense. That that's crazy. Uh, you know, I don't carry I don't carry my my firearm to uh, try to intimidate. I carry my firearm to keep myself and my family and anybody around me safe. Uh, that, that's one of the biggest things that 
anti-gun people seem to misunderstand. Exactly. You know, here in the U.S., our money isn't backed by anything. Our money is backed by uh, oh, good lord. Uh, you know, is back, uh, backed by the confidence of the U.S. government. So, you know, in a SHTF situation, a paper, you know, good for burning, good to wipe your butt with, because it's not going to have any value. If there is no government, there's nothing there. But as in precious metals, whether there's a government or not, you have value in that right there. You can always trade it for something. Gold has never been worth zero. Silver has never been worth zero. Copper has never been worth zero. You know, I do lead. Uh, you know, I smelt, smelt these little lead bars off the wheel weights and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not worth crap, but in a SHTF scenario, and someone needs to be able to make uh, make rounds for their firearms, that lead will actually be worth a lot. Somebody just snuck in here. Who snuck in? Oh, oh still me. Okay. But uh, yeah, and you're an expandable baton. What what does that do? You know that that's nothing for a self-defense uh, situation. Do you are you guys allowed to uh, carry uh, pepper spray, CS, that kind of stuff, or tasers or anything like that? Uh, because I'm a big proponent of, of uh, pepper spray. I always carry that uh, with me uh, if I'm not able to carry my uh, carry my firearm, because at least that it gives me some sort of chance, I guess, you know, against uh, Mr. and or Miss Bad Guy. You need to have a special permit? Good Lord. Remind me never to move to Europe. They, they seriously, seriously limit uh, your self-defense there. That, that, that just sucks. And a special reason for it. See that that's here in the U.S. with uh with our permits. There are states that have shall issue and then may issue. A shall issue state, they they cannot deny you as long as you uh, qualify for it. They can't deny you a permit. In a may issue state, they can. Prep for it. Where where are you from? Canada, nice. Uh, yeah, I know what uh, up there in Canada. Are you allowed to uh, carry on your person, or is it uh, only for home and or uh, like hunting purposes and things like that? Oh, Skunk spray. Oh, good lord. That ain't much of uh, that ain't much of nothing. Yeah, I've, I've never understood why modern countries are so anti-firearm because a well-armed society is a polite society. Over, you know, you you look at. You know, unfortunately, with Europe and stuff like that, you see the see the brazen robberies and stuff like that all the time, uh, the smashing grabs and things, and not so much here. Uh, no handguns unless you're what? No handgun? Good lord! Uh, that's kind of, that's kind of ridiculous right there. Uh, I'd much rather have a handgun in a self defense situation, even in a even in a home than necessarily like a long gun because you don't have to worry about it as much with over penetration. You know, if you have 12 gauge slug, you're going to go through some walls as opposed to a nine millimeter full, full metal jacket, you know, or hollow point. 
it's not going to go through as the same number because of the, the mass, the velocity, and things like that. Um, I got I got a friend of mine that's uh, in the military up there in uh, in Alaska, and he goes uh, over to Canada sometimes. Uh, I guess he gets military people or something like that gets special permits, or I don't know how non citizens work with uh, with getting permits up there. He's gone up there and he's done some uh, some moose hunting. Uh, over there in both Alaska and Canada, and I think this year he was going to go. He's going to go bear hunting. Uh, I don't know if it's brown bear or black bear. So, uh, you know, I, I like my being able to to carry my firearm with me. Uh, I know up there in Canada, uh, you guys have looser alcohol laws, which is kind of uh, kind of funny. Well, and that that right there. When guns are illegal, only the bad guys will have them. And that's thing here here in the U.S. You go up to Chicago. Chicago has one of the try and survive. What's up, man? How are you, buddy? Uh, Chicago has one of the strictest gun laws uh, in the nation. Yet they have. Uh, I have sent you a private message on YouTube. Okay, I will. Uh, they have some of the strictest gun laws in, in the country, but they also have one of the highest murder rates uh, in the country. And you see all these little, all these kids doing this walk out for uh, safety and stuff like that. Keith Crook, how are you, sir? Crunk, Crunk, how are you, sir? Uh, but you don't see it up in Chicago. You don't see it over in Maryland and there in Baltimore. You don't see it out there in LA. Because it doesn't fit the stereotype of the narrative that they're trying to push, uh, so it just kind of sucks. So that that's why I'm glad with me. I can always carry my firearm because you never know when that bad guy is going to show up. You know, you, you look on that unfortunate uh, incident here the other day with the uh, with the two police officers who got shot eating at a Chinese restaurant. I don't know where two guys just trying to eat get shot. Uh, and I think it was L.A., there was a, a father who was killed by a random homeless person, got stabbed in the neck for, for no reason whatsoever. So it just shows that there's the bad guys out there and you always have to be. Uh... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Had to look for that. Uh, look for that N, not the O. Uh you know, you always want to be able to watch out for everything. That's one of the reasons why I like prepping stuff, because with prepping, you're preparing for that what if. You know, with this stuff that uh, that Garrett sent me, you know, it's lots of flashlights, knives, fire starting kits, and things like that. It'll be nice that I'll be able to one share with others uh, by doing more, adding it to to giveaways that I'm going to do, and two, being able to have more preparedness. I keep a, I keep a bag in my car. I keep a bag in my house. I keep a bag down at my brother's, bag down at my in-laws, so that no matter what happens, I'm prepared for the crap. <laughs> nice, yes. Hey, 511, my favorite, uh, my favorite Mora. Uh, hey, uh, so... Since a couple of you guys are in here, I am doing another uh, more giveaway at 250, uh, and I'll probably end up uh, uh, giving some of the uh, some of the stuff that uh, Garrett sent. Dude, I, I love Moors. Moors are pretty much the uh, my go-to knives. Uh, once more came out with that Garber, uh, the full tang and everything like that. I pretty much only use that. The only other uh, knives that I normally would use, but I don't have at the current moment would be a Becker BK2 just because it's it's a beast of a knife. Uh, it's basically a knife that's, you know, a hatchet for uh, just not in the same form. Uh, but uh, Mora knives, you know, here, this Mora, I get all, I get all my Moras at uh, Pathfinder store uh, with Dave Canterbury, your Suffer Alliance Outfitters. This thing is $8. So for a, for a nice, Razor sharp knife that I wish they would have a 90 degree angle on it. Um, 
you can't beat it. But for these, I just grind down my own 90 degree angle most of the time. But for eight dollars, you cannot beat it. It comes with a sheath. It's a fixed blade. It, they're they're super nice. Oh, go away. Oh, yes, they are razor sharp, which is both the good thing and the bad thing. Uh, that if you don't pay attention, you'll slice the crap out of yourself. Uh, I sent one to one of my buddies, and uh, from the army, uh, he won. He won one that I got, and. <laughs> I was joking with him on Facebook, telling him to be careful because he already sliced off one of his fingers uh, doing something and we call him nubby now. And I'll tell him, hey, don't slice yourself again because these things are super sharp uh, as soon as you get them. Uh, so you can't uh, you can't beat that with, with their quality and everything like that. They're, they're super nice. And, you know, just goes back to the prepping stuff. You might have – you can have the nicest knife, you know, a two dollars $300 knife. But if you lose it, one okay yeah that, that sucks but i have other options so that always kind of makes it uh makes it kind of nice uh to do that too uh keith where where, where are you from uh and try and survive where are you from you weren't from sweden and uh, uh prep for it's from canada Sure, you guys all the time. Oklahoma and West Virginia. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Oklahoma, man, when I was, I was stationed in El Paso. Oh, Oklahoma, Texas? Is it Oklahoma, Texas? Uh, when I was stationed in uh, stationed Army, I was in El Paso. So I would drive through Oklahoma to go to get down there. And the interstates there in Oklahoma are nuts. Y'all have to get off interstates ridiculously. Uh, Oklahoma and Texas. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, me and the wife, we keep uh, kicking around the idea about moving back to Texas. Uh, just not to El Paso, but somewhere more towards uh, Dallas. We have a friend that lives in Tyler. Uh, so we're, we're looking at something like that. In West Virginia, y'all got too many hills. And West Virginia is ridiculous with the hills. I can't, I can't do the Appalachia, all that kind of stuff. Forget that up and down, all that stuff. Can't, can't do it. Can't do it. So, um, but, uh, but yeah. So, Fort Hood, first night camp. I was in a first, uh, first armor division uh, there at uh, at Bliss. They, uh, that's when they first started moving first armor from uh, Germany to, to Fort Bliss. We had 401 Cav there at Bliss when they thought about having an extra kind of spread it out and everything like that. Uh, they deployed to Iraq and then they cased their colors pretty much right after they got back. So who knows how it goes? Who knows how it goes? Oh, sorry. That was itch. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so I wish I could figure out how to, let me just start here. Mm, I'm trying to see if I can make this a little darker. Nope, that didn't make it any better. I totally suck at this whole live stream stuff. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and stuff like that. Uh... Now, uh, for for Keith, what's up with the uh, the straight razor stuff? That that sounds like the nineteen fifties uh, greaser stuff. So I just I was just watching the uh, the fight scene from uh, Secondhand Lions. If you all have ever uh, seen that, that's kind of reminds me of the the greaser type stuff. Uh, from the 50s. Well, why do you use the straight razors? You, you said you carry numerous straight razors on you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's a nice thing with YouTube. You click one of those little fight scenes or something like that, and you just keep going. 
Do you have you tested? Uh, I have not. I have not. Uh, I've heard of the fallen knives, but but I've uh, fallen knives, but I've never uh, I've never used one before. And uh, I just the Keith. The, the only reason I'm saying the the straight racers is that that seems like a uh, interesting type of you know blade to to uh, carry. Uh, you know, I, I definitely wholeheartedly agree with the uh, carrying one for personal protection. Uh, whenever I'm out, if, especially if I'm out in the woods or stuff like that, we have a lot of uh, dogs down where uh, where my property is. So I always have my firearm and I always have a knife with me, just in uh, just in case if get one gets too close uh, and or there's multiple of them and they run out of rounds. Because the knife never runs out of rounds as long as you don't break it. Uh, the Falcon Eyes, that's another Swedish one, isn't it? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Plus other things we can't discuss. Exactly. Yes. Nice. Uh, yeah, you are, uh, Preford, you are definitely right. It, it's never really the big fancy name brand knives. It's normally... Just your little everyday carry knives that people have that are using that to cut up, you know, cut a uh, seat belt, something like that, or uh, you know, they use it to protect themselves from from an animal or something along those lines. Leave me where tool very heavy. Nice, nice. We uh, tool heavy is always a is always a uh, good thing to uh, to have. But yeah, you know, going back to the uh, the 400 thing, you don't need those. Uh, yes, it's all nice, but really, it's just a showpiece. That that's really all it is. Uh, you know, I'd much rather have a bunch of these that you know will, are darn good knives. Yes, I can't baton with it. Okay, I understand that, but it's not a one knife option for me. The gar the the more Garberg is, and that's a hundred dollar knife. Uh, you know, which is still very reasonable, can do everything that uh, that you need for um, for bushcrafting, for prepping, for everyday uh, stuff. You can slice your slice your cheese with it, or you can slice your air cord, or cut your wood, whatever you need to do, baton with it. So that that is definitely a a, a one one knife uh, option uh, that uh, that I would definitely go for. Yeah, uh, I've batons with with these five elevens. Very small stuff. Would never use it on anything big so, for two reasons. One, because it's not a full tank. And two, just the the blade itself is not uh, is not super long. But you know, as long as you're not stupid with them, you can get them done. Because with, with the Moras, even though they're not full tang, they don't cut off right there at the at the handle. Exactly. You know, a twenty dollar knife can you'll be able to use it a lot more. You won't feel bad about uh, feel bad about using it. You know, there's guys that I see who have X, Y, or Z that are worth tons and tons of money, but they never use it. It goes to to firearms and stuff like that. I don't carry a lot of the, the highest, you know, I've never been big into uh, like collecting expensive guns and things like that because when I see people do that, they leave them in their safes. They're safe queens. I buy something, I want to be able to use it. My Glock that I carry is the same Glock that I've had for 20 years. I, I've got this maybe a month after I turned 18. My dad went with me and got it for me. And I still carry the same exact one. Uh, you know, my shotguns that I have, I have a bunch of single shots, uh, H&Rs and the uh, new Hatfield uh, shotguns that Walmart carries, $100. I can get everything done with it, and I can abuse the heck out of it. It'll still work, and I won't feel bad if it gets messed up. So it's always uh, kind of nice. I don't know if I say it twice, but it's like really close. I like some cold steel. I carry, uh, I have a cold steel 
uh, Tomahawk. I can't remember which one I, I had, which uh, model it is, but I have that down at the cabin and I use that for pretty much any time I need any to do any limbing or anything like that. Just because it's it's a nice little, nice little, uh, you know, cutting utensil and it's cheap. And it works. And plus, I like it because it's got uh, the hammer uh, head on the back so that, you know, I can use it for both cutting and for, for hammering. And, you know, yeah, cold seal, you know, de definitely, uh, definitely makes some, some good, uh, some good stuff. You know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm a more guy myself, but, uh, you know, potatoes, potatoes. Everybody carries them as long as you're using them the way that uh, that you're supposed to, or even if you're not uh, using them the way they were intended. As long as they function for you, that's really all that uh, that's really all that matters. So I know Cold Steel does a lot of uh, their commercials and stuff like that. Always kind of crack me up with the uh, you know cutting cutting the turkeys and the chick i'm mean, cutting the chickens in half and things like that they, they make some really uh really good uh videos yes yes you know because between that you know between that and this mora i'm set honestly if, if i want to go bare minimum uh because i can do pretty much everything that I'm going to need to do, at least in a very, you know, in a short term scenario, you know, a 24 hour, uh, you know, solo camping, camping, some things, uh, something along those lines. Okay. So it's a cold steel fuller. Nice. Nice. Uh, now do you know you guys carry, um, like the Baco Laplander, uh, folding saws or anything like that? I've seen them. I just, I've never been a big fan of the saws. I, uh, you know, I'd, I'd much rather just kind of break the wood, uh, you know, or you know, use leverage to uh, to use that. I just kind of, I kind of can more concerned with it because it's really a very limited uh, use tool, stuff like that. I, I like being able to use something for more than more than one thing. You know, the you know the the tomahawk. I can use it for cutting. I can use it for hammering. I can use it for splitting wood if I needed to. Uh, we have two backwood saws for my go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's nice to have have them as as uh, I guess you know, an option, but for me, I just, I, I think I'd rather keep, uh, you know, a buck saw or something like that at the cabin that if I need it, I can go, I can use that and go out. If I need to collect firewood, uh, things along those lines, I'm able to, um, plus they're a heck of a lot cheaper, a heck of a lot cheaper, but you know, they're nice. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but, uh, they are definitely a lot cheaper. Um, unnecessary in my area. Uh, why particularly not necessary in your area, uh, prep? Just because the the type of uh, trees and stuff that you have up there, or uh, or is there just tons of deadfall everywhere? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, down where, down where my cabin is, they logged it, uh, a few years ago. And so there's still, there's lots of deadfall down there and there's still lots of wood that they piled up. Uh, that's still very usable wood that was just not good enough for them to load onto, uh, a great show. Great show. Thanks, man. Uh, I appreciate that. 
but so yeah so it's nice down there that I've, I've got, got all that wood that i can use uh, my goal for this this year is to get me a wood stove for down there at the cabin I'm looking at a sport the sportsman's guides uh, hq uh cam soap they got it's they got a bigger version now that i think will uh will work nice for my cabin i just i can't you know afford spending five six seven hundred dollars on a tiny stove uh, for the cabin you know when i can spend 150 bucks and get that one uh, it just doesn't make economical sense for me you know if they ever want to sponsor me and send me one and i'll give them a review cool but uh yeah not not so uh not so much on going out and buying it on my own uh with that kind of stuff so but yeah so all right well i'm gonna hop off here guys uh i appreciate you guys uh talking with me and everything like that and uh you and i'll check your uh your message and then i got uh, a video coming out tonight and a couple other ones coming for the uh the weekend so i'll talk to y'all later